King Tut's meteorite dagger has a mystery origin story. A team of researchers recently x-ray scanned an iron dagger found in the tomb of Tutankhamun to figure out how the object, the metal of which came from a meteorite, was made. They suspect the dagger was created through low temperature forging, but they don't think it was crafted in Egypt. Now, when archaeologists entered Tutankhamun's burial chamber in the Valley of the Kings in the 1920s, they found a foot-long long dagger among the splendor entombed with the pharaoh. The blade was made of iron, a perplexing discovery considering the Iron Age didn't kick off until a century after Tut's death. Iron objects that precede widespread knowledge of iron metallurgy have led researchers to believe that older items come from meteoric iron. And you're looking at that right here. And that would mean chunks of the metal that fell from space to earth were found and then forged on earth. This stuff was highly valued in Egypt and beyond. A meteoric dagger found in Turkey dates to the early Bronze Age, a thousand years before Tutankhamun was born. Besides the dagger, Tutankhamun was entombed with an iron headrest and an iron bracelet. The 2016 study affirmed the likely meteoric origin of the pharaoh's iron. But questions remained about the kind of meteorite it came from and how it was forged. That's where the new study comes and is published this month in Meteorics and Planetary Sciences. To understand the manufacture and origin of the dagger, they conducted on-site, non-contact, non-destructive, two-dimensional chemical analysis of the dagger. Study co-author Tomoko Arai, a researcher, at the Chiba Institute, you're looking at it, of technology in Japan, wrote an email to Gizmodo. The researchers mapped the elemental structure of the blade by shining x-rays onto it, revealing concentrations of iron, nickel, manganese, and cobalt. In the blackened spots on the blade, they found sulfur, chlorine, calcium, and zinc. But just as interesting as the elements present was their distribution. They noticed a cross-hatched pattern present in places for both sides of the dagger, suggesting a Windmannstatten structure, typical of an octahedrite iron meteorite, Ariel said. That was our wow moment. The Windmannstatten pattern, named for Austrian mineralogist, is a remarkable effect present in some metallic meteorites that's caused by how nickel is distributed throughout the objects. The pattern's presence in Tutankhamun's weapon indicates that the dagger was made from an octahedrite, the largest group of iron meteorites. To verify what they were seeing in the elemental analysis, the team compared the pattern of Tut's dagger with the pattern of the Japanese meteorite Shirangagri. Now, Shirahagi was the source of the iron in some Japanese swords acquired by the Taisho Emperor. Octahedrites apparently are a favorite of monarchies everywhere. The pattern's presence in the ancient Egyptian dagger also hints at how it was made. The team wrote in their paper that the Windmannstatten pattern would disappear if the iron were heated to a very high temperature. They also found small black patches in places on the surface. And they thought that these were rust at first, but it turns out that they were iron sulfide, which generally occurs as inclusions in octahedrite iron meteorites. Just fascinating. One of the authors 
said that the presence of iron sulfide, as well as the subtle Winmenstaten pattern, indicate the dagger was forged with relatively low heat, less than 950 C or 1742 Fahrenheit. Though the chemical analysis didn't offer clues to the dagger's origin, the team turned to a series of 3,400-year-old tablets known as the Amarna Letters, which document diplomatic activities in ancient Egypt in the mid-14th century BCE. And these letters mention an iron dagger in a gold sheath, presumably not a common accessory back then, that was given to Amenhotep III. This is fascinating. Tutankhamun's grandfather was Amenhotep III, the king of Mitanni. Now, Mitanni was a region of Anatolia when the pharaoh married his daughter. So perhaps Tutankhamun's space dagger was a family heirloom received from abroad. The researchers' elemental analysis also indicate the gemstones in the dagger's hilt, which we were just looking at, were attached with a lime plaster, which is used commonly in Mitatani. It didn't catch on in Egypt until much later. Arai said that future studies will be helpful to further confirm the assessment of the blade. Whether an epic wedding present or not, this dagger's story didn't end with its royal burial. What a fascinating paper. Hope you got something out of the video. That's a boom to knowledge. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe.